So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this video to uh, tell you what what you gotta do every time you replace a CVT transmission on these uh, Nissan vehicles. This is a 2015 uh, Nissan Sentra, I think it is. So after you replace the transmission, you gotta follow these instructions, and you're gonna start with this uh, number one initial TCM. So you're gonna follow these instructions right here, the directions. You, you see the parking brake. Turn the ignition on, um, and on the software that you're using, if you are not using uh, the consult uh, software on your scanner, look for similar uh, parameters. Okay, so on the on the con on the consult, uh, you're gonna go to uh, transmission, and then you go gonna go to erase memory data. So basically, what you're gonna do. So you're gonna click here. I'm not gonna do it again because I just saw, uh, I just did it on this vehicle. You're gonna erase the memory data, and then you're gonna follow those instructions. Okay. Once you get to the completed uh, message, that means it's done. So once you complete this, you're gonna move on to number two. Okay. And on number two, you've got to follow these instructions. Uh, turn the ignition off, put it in reverse, uh, park, whatever it asks you to do, just do it, okay? Important, not, don't start the engine. You're going to go to uh, select special uh, function in transmission and select calibration data. On the calibration data, you, you're going to check for these values. You, you want to make sure that all these values match the ones that you have in there, okay? Uh, if it is, like this, that means you uh, initialized uh, uh, the controller uh, successfully. If not, you gotta go back to number one. Okay. So then after that, you're gonna have you're gonna have to load the calibration data. For that, you're gonna shift the part. You wanna make sure that uh, part is displayed. You're gonna follow all these instructions again. Okay. If it tells you to turn the engine. I uh, turn the ignition off for five seconds, that's what you do. 10 seconds, that's what you do. 30 seconds, you get the idea. So after that, uh, you're gonna go to number four. Just uh, follow those instructions, okay? And, and you'll be able to complete it. Uh, once you verify all that, step number five is to erase the CVT fluid deterioration or degradation level data, okay? For that, you're gonna go to this option. On your scanner, my, it's not gonna look like this, but just go and click on this, okay? You click on it and then you reset it. And it should, it, it's gonna show you, once you enter, it's gonna show you a high number, and once you reset it, it's gonna show you a very low number, very close to zero. Uh, once you complete that, uh, you verify that there is no issues with the transmission or any codes. Um, and then you're going to move on to this section right here. Okay. Um, to do the learning, you got to verify if you have or if you don't have the idle neutral control. Uh, and the idle neutral control is this function that allows the transmission to disengage when you are uh, at a stop with your foot on the brake and basically what it does is just uh, disengage you so it'll save uh, fuel, okay? How do you know if you have it or not? Uh, there is something that you can verify on your scanner and that'll be to go on to your data and look for a data pad that looks like this either neutral idle status or another one that says uh, drive in neutral. I think it says DIN, but anyways, it's the status of the neutral idle. And once you, if you have that parameter, that parameter in there, you can isolate it. Right now it's off because it's in park. If you have this, that means that you have uh, you have the option, okay? So you, you have the uh, idle on you to control. If you have it, you're gonna follow these instructions. 
Okay. I went on uh, chat GPT to uh, kind of simplify this. Okay. And basically, these are the same instructions, just a little bit easier to follow. Um, this is with the idle neutral control. You got to warm up the transmission. Again, you go back to your data, make sure that your uh, transmission is up to temperature. We got 85 degrees. So, but that was Celsius. This is a uh, Fahrenheit. So you're gonna turn off your loads, especially the air conditioning, shift to park, stop, uh, stop the engine, wait five seconds, start engine, wait five seconds, stop engine, wait 30 seconds, and then repeat this two more times for a total of three. And then you do this, And after you're done to this point, you go back to the drive stop, which will be this. One more time for a total of two. You continue doing this, this, uh, these steps. And right here, accelerate, stop, restart, which will be accelerate, stop, and restart all of them for the total of five. And then you complete by doing your final test drive. That's if you have the uh, idle neutral control. If you don't have it, you follow this instruction right here. Okay? If you have any questions, put them on, uh, on the comments. I hope you find this useful. Subscribe to the channel if you found it. Share the video with whoever you think is gonna find it beneficial. Thanks for watching.